Hello, this presentation will discuss the proposed listing of the Hercules Incorporated site located in Hattiesburg, Forest County, Mississippi to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's National Priority List, the NPL. My name is Deidre Lloyd and I am the Remedial Project Manager for the United States Environmental Protection Agency from Region 4, located in Atlanta, Georgia. Marjorie Thomas is the EPA Community Involvement Coordinator and Sandra Bam Bramble is the EPA NPL coordinator. We are available to answer any questions regarding the proposed NPL listing for the Hercules site. Our contact information is provided later in this presentation. This presentation will cover site background, information, and why the region has proposed the Hercules Incorporated site to the NPL, along with ways in which you as community members can get involved in this process. Hercules Incorporated is a former chemical manufacturer located at 613 West 7th Street in Hattiesburg, Forest County, Mississippi. The Hercules site occupies about 200 acres in a mixed commercial, industrial, and residential area. From 1923 to 2009, Hercules produced over 250 products, including paper and textile chemicals, paints, varnishes, pesticides, and insecticides, including Delnav, Torac, and Toxaphene. After the facility closed in 2009, most of the structures were demolished. Structures that remain include a building used as an office, a former cafeteria, concrete basins, and a backfilled surface impoundment from the former wastewater treatment plant, WWTP, sludge disposal pits, a closed landfill, and railroad tracks, some of which are still active. Pesticide manufacturing mainly occurred in the central portion of the site. Sludge generated from the WWTP was disposed in the sludge disposal pits. A network of monitoring wells is present for, for semi-annual groundwater monitoring. Purple arrow designates the sludge disposal pits in the northwestern portion of the site. The former landfill in the north central portion of the site is designated by a pink arrow. The polypelic unit, outlined in red, and the Delnav unit are both located in the central portion of the site and are designated by a red arrow. The former impoundment basin in the eastern portion of the site is designated by a yellow arrow. Since 2007, Hercules has performed site investigations, interim remedies, and semi-annual groundwater and surface water quality monitoring to comply with Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality, MDEQ, and EPA orders. In 2011, EPA required Hercules to conduct additional investigations and monitoring to further assess contamination on site and in underlying groundwater along with nearby drainage routes. In 2019, the EPA referred the site from its RIC Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, RICRA, program to its Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act, CERCLA, program, also known as Superfund. In 2021, the EPA CERCLA program conducted an expanded site investigation, site-wide cleanup evaluation. Data collected to date will be incorporated into future project-related remedial investigations and actions to evaluate and address risk to public health in the environment. This slide depicts a conceptual site model, which gives an overview of the site contamination and potential areas for future investigations. Contamination was detect detected in on-site soil, disposal areas, groundwater, surface water, sediment, and soil gas. Contamination resulted from former site operations, some key areas of concern include the former industrial landfill, which is closed, the sludge pits from the WWTP operation, the impoundment basin also from WWTP operations, residential housing near the eastern portion of the site, and production areas, which include the polypel and Delnav areas near the former facility building in the central portion of the site. Samples collected during previous site investigations contained volatile organic compounds, VOCs, semi-volatile organic compounds, SVOCs, pesticides, polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, metals, and insecticides. Some specific contaminants include benzene, carbon tetrachloride, chlorobenzene, chloroform, toluene, 1,1-biphenyl, 1,4-dioxane, diphenyl ether, toxaphene, PCBs, arsenic, chromium, lead, manganese, and mercury. Information on these contaminants can be found on the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Tox FAQs website. Data suggests that the contamination detected may pose unacceptable risk to public health and the environment. 
Hercules has conducted closure activities at the former industrial landfill, former impoundment basin, and the ET-10 tank, formerly associated with the WWTP. The photographs from left to right are as follows. A view from on top of a formal industrial landfill facing in a northwesterly direction. The landfill includes capped wastes that were closed in place. View of former impoundment basin during closure activities and the soil cover and vegetation on top of it after closure. ET-10 tank prior to closing and dismantling and concrete remnants of the ET tank after closure. EPA evaluated the Hercules Incorporated site and determined that it qualifies for inclusion on the NPL. This determination is based on elevated levels of contaminants in soil, past disposal areas, and groundwater. Due to elevated contaminant levels, EPA took action to address potential risk to human health and the environment by proposing the addition of Hercules to the National Priorities List, or the NPL, on March 18, 2022 as a path forward for long-term cleanup. The site includes all areas where hazardous substances were released, have migrated, and are currently located. NPL listing allows EPA, the state, and the community access to significant resources to address potential health and environmental risks. The EPA will hold a 90-day public comment period from March 18th to June 16th, 2022. Visit www.regulations.gov to see how EPA made the decision for the proposed listing on the NPL. Please submit your comments on the proposed listing by the methods listed here. Number one, Federal E Rulemaking Portal, www.regulations.gov. The public is welcome to provide comments for the listing. Follow the online instructions for submitting. Just scroll down to Hercules Incorporated and click the Comment Now link. Please note, all public comment submissions must include the docket number, EPA-HQ-OLEM-2022-0191 in the subject line. A third way, you can mail your comments to US, US e, EPA Mail, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA Docket Center, Superfund Docket, Mail Code 28221T-1200, Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20460. The final listing decision will be made after public comments are considered. The Superfund process includes the completion of a preliminary assessment, PA, and site investigation, SI, followed by the NPL listing and a 90-day comment period. The next step in the Superfund process is to conduct the remedial investigation, an RI, and a feasibility study, an FS. The RI will determine the nature and extent of contamination, and the FS will evaluate appropriate cleanup remedies. The selected cleanup remedy and cleanup goals are outlined in the Record of Decision, or ROD, which is followed by the development and implementation of a remedy design. Once all response actions are completed and all cleanup goals have been achieved, the Superfund process is deemed complete and the site is deleted from the NPL. Throughout site cleanup, EPA works with the state of Mississippi, MDEQ, and Hercules to ensure protection of human health and the environment while ensuring site cleanup prog progresses in a timely manner. And community involvement occurs throughout the entire Superfund process. The Superfund process includes public meetings during each phase of the site cleanup to ensure meaningful community involvement. The Superfund process also includes consideration of beneficial site reuse at any point during site cleanup. For more information about the Superfund process, visit https colon forward slash forward slash www.epa.gov forward slash Superfund forward slash about dash Superfund dash cleanup dash process. Hi, I'm Marjorie Thomas, the Community Involvement Coordinator, or CIC, for the Hercules site. I'll be walking you through the community involvement piece of the Superfund process and will be your point of contact for community related issues and questions. During the Superfund process, there will be numerous opportunities for participation through public meetings, workshops, and open houses. A community involvement plan will be developed to facilitate two-way communication between the community and EPA. The community involvement plan outlines ways to engage with community members that are willing to have a conversation about the site 
and will utilize community involvement activities to ensure that residents are kept informed and provided opportunities to be involved. The first website identified on this slide provides information regarding Superfund community involvement and goes into detail of ways you can stay involved during the Superfund process. The second website listed is specific to the Hercules site. Here you will find various site-related documents. The community will have opportunities for accessing resources, such as, but not limited to, technical assistance grants, technical assistance services, and forming a community advisory group. My role in this process is to serve as a liaison between the community and the agency and to help identify and secure needed resources. Examples of assistance might be in helping to determine technical assistance needs or expertise, identifying related funding support, in information assistance, community education, and in helping to develop and facilitate an advisory group when appropriate. If you have any questions regarding the information provided in this presentation or regarding the Superfund process at the Hercules site, please contact Deidre Lloyd, the project manager, Sandra Bramble, the National Priorities List Coordinator, Hunter Hudson or Taka Scott Bailey with the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality, or me, Marjorie Thomas, your Community Involvement Coordinator. We can all be reached at the phone numbers and emails listed on this slide. You may also visit the Hercules Inc. Superfund webpage using the link provided. The website will house this presentation, the NPL fact sheet, and other site-related documents. We look forward to working with you and for you as the Hercules site moves forward in the Superfund process. Thank you.